This is Emma and Steve from Showrooms Online. Today we're at Hilton Valley, a development by St Modwin Homes. Hilton Valley is in Hilton Village in Derbyshire. We're here to take a look at the Barlow Show Home, an impressive four bedroom home with crisp white render and contemporary boarding frontage. Let's go and take a look inside. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, I'm getting blown well, away. Well, actually, today we've got Hurricane... It's Brian. Brian is out there, Brian. and it is very gusty. Yes. But that's not going to deter us, is it? Nope. We are at mm. Hilton Valley. Hilton Valley. By St. Modwin Homes. Yes. And this is the... Barlow. Four bedroom. Beautiful house from out the outside, yes, isn't it? Yes, and it's not a house type that we've looked at before. Yeah. So this will be a really And I know treat. a few of you have asked us for more St. Modwin, so yes. I hope this... Um, I hope this helps you out. Absolutely. Okay, so let's right. start and have a look then. So we've got this hallway. Yes, we have. Now we are opposite to plan. So I think if we start in there, which is your study. It's very nice. Got a kind of I mood. like the bowler hats. Yeah. Aren't they nice? It's got a kind of mood to it, hasn't it? Right, dimensions for this study are 2 metres 6 by 2 metres 4. It's got two windows as well. Ah, oh, look at the light. Here's your bowler hat. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you've got two windows because it's on a corner. Very nice indeed. Now, should we go this way? Did you give us a size of that, Emma? I, I did give it you. Okay, then. Right, so this is your living room then. nice right let's cover some dimensions four meters five by three meters five so you've got this big window to the front and this is i think with the with st modwin it is about having large windows and letting the light beautifully furnished isn't it yeah it's very it's elegant very finished, isn't it yeah, it is. and they've left the tv on for yeah. us so actually watch the house while we walk around. Okay. So back into the hallway then. So let's go down this way. Got a door here, which is your downstairs cloakroom. A nice little radiator there as well. That's 
really nice tones in this house, isn't it? Warming it tones. Is. We've got an understairs cupboard here. Yep, so that's got the alarm in here. And it's quite a large cupboard, isn't it? Uses up that space, doesn't it? Right, so through to the rear of the house, and we've got kitchen, dining, and family room. So we've got one open plan space here, haven't we? Certainly have, yes. So it's the full width of the house, which is eight metres in length yeah. by three metres two in width. So you've got a great family area at this end. Plenty of room for a sofa. You could fit a corner sofa in if you've got one. They've got a dining table there in the middle, but you know it's a very flexible space, isn't it? You've also got a window here, and then French doors to the rear garden in the middle there. So judging from this point, you get a good sized garden with this <laughs> this show house, don't you? So what do we know about this development then, Hilton Valley? Well, it is just on the outskirts of Hilton actually, um, and they are actually, you've got a good range of different house types here, two, threes and fours, mm -hmm. um, and it's got, at the moment Hilton's like a village, but it's growing, um, but with that infrastructure, with, with, that, with that growth you need infrastructure, and some modern are actually building a school in the near future. Yes they are. Yeah. Well, it's great if you want a village, the village feel, mm -hmm. Helton's perfect. And there will eventually be 400 houses yeah. built by St. Martin. But I think what I like about Hilton is you're not too far away from Derby and you're not too far away from Stoke either, all built up on Trent. And net, motorway networks, you've just got the A50, which slices almost just past it, mm -hmm. and that gives you access to the M6 and to the M1. So great Commuter, transport yeah. locations. Right, let's take a look at this kitchen then. So you've got plenty of eyeline cupboards. So you've got this almost breakfast bar there that uh, separates this from the dining area. So cupboards underneath, lots of those actually. You've got your integrated dishwasher there. So we've got some Lucy appliances. One and a half bowl yeah. sink. And you've got a window there so you can look at your garden while you wash up. Again, got a bank of drawers. What a big hob! Wow! A big splash bag <laughs> and big <laughs> A six burner hob there, gas hob. For somebody who likes a lot of cooking. Yep. Right. Yep, so Zanussi oven and grill. Yep. And then you've got your fridge freezer here at this end. Yep. Super. Right, so you've got a utility. I suppose it is a room. Yeah, so you've got two spaces room. there. So you've yeah. got room for the a, the um, washing machine and a tumble dryer there. Yeah. The plumbing's already in for that as well, look. Right, so you've got your door there to yeah. the rear garden. And your boiler. Yeah, That's I really like that. And I also like the detail on the top there with the capping just around the pipes there. A lot of de attention to detail. Yeah. And I like it's as well, look, this is open. Yeah. There's not a door on it either. But it is so. space that you yeah. can just touch Yeah, but it also keeps there, that so. open plan feel going. It does. Nice space, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'll just give you a long last pan around that. So now we need to head upstairs. Okay, first floor, right then. So we're back. Back to front of plan. So this is the landing. Okay, right. Bedroom two then, at the front. Now this actually got two windows in here. That's a lot of light coming in here. It is, and it's very well lit yeah. today as well. Right, bedroom two, three metres nine by three metres three. And ideally we'd love a lovely sunny day, but we we're not would. blessed with that at the moment. But no. it's quite quite dreary outside. It's, but uh, And it's quite late in the day as yeah. well. So they've got fitted wardrobes built in. Any day, let me show you those. I quite like, it's mostly like a closet, isn't it? Yeah. I quite like the ones with the doors, really. Feel very sturdy. Yeah. 
plenty of room here at the uh, bottom of the bed. Yes, but uh, plenty of room for additional bed. Yeah. You can have your TV on the wall there if you want to. Open that door behind you, which is your cylinder there. Cylinder tank. Okay. Right, this is your main bathroom then. So you've got a bath and a separate shower yeah. cube. Cover. That's actually a good size shower, that is, isn't Certainly it? Certainly is. You know. I always think it's a luxury when you've got a separate shower. Yeah, especially in the bathroom. Yeah. Really nice. Really lovely. So you've got the separate shower head there. Yeah, that. if you want to wash your hair. Very nice. So pedestal sink and glue. And a bathroom with a window. Yeah, that's what we need. You've got a heated towel rail right there behind you, Steve. Yeah. Dimensions for this bathroom are two meters eight by two meters two. Got some awesome, lovely door furniture there. Really like impressed me that. Next door, we've got bedroom four, which is the smallest of the four yeah. bedrooms, uh, and that's two meters eight by two meters two. I do love the trunk furniture. Very, very nice feature. What does this? I always ask you this question, Emma. What does this house make you feel like? What does it? What does it? What's it feel? I think it feels very spacious. Yeah. Very homely. Yeah. And it's quite elegant, very I think. stylish. Yeah, staged. Right, bedroom three there at the rear. So you're above the family area of the kitchen here. Cute wallpaper. Yeah. Mm. And then, last but not least, we've got bedroom one. Now this has obviously got its own ensuite, but there's an offset um, closet there, isn't there? That's the ensuite, I think. No, oh, it no, isn't. I've spotted that. Open, oh. open the door, Emma. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Hey, now that's actually, that is a really good use of space, isn't it? So it's a dressing room, but yeah. it also takes in the volume of the stairs, yeah. doesn't it? Super job there. You know I'm a sucker for a dressing room. I absolutely love it. That's great. Right, so. Again, good window there. And what I like about St Modwin windows is that they don't have all of that leaded bits and pieces on there. It's just a nice clear window. What do you think of this light fitting? Um... Um, it's like a giant. It's unique, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Right, bedroom one, three meters four by three meters six. Just by my arm there. It doesn't mean that I don't like it. It's just I'm kind of finding the words. Yeah. But it is really good. I think it's very uh, innovative. Yeah. Right. So you've got a small window there. Which just gives you a little bit of extra light, as well as the big window at the front. It's just they're pinching any bit of light that they can, aren't yeah, they? Definitely. And that's good. But you have got an ensuite in here, so show the viewers that, Steve. And your ensuite measures two meters two by one meter five. Do you know what I really like about St Modwin's plans is that they give you the dimensions for every little room. Yeah. Shall I? Uh, yeah, should do. The door to? So it is a really large shower cubicle that is. Okay then. Yeah. Wow. What do you think? I think that you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> what, what do you think? I think it's a very nice house. It is. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I am a big fan of some modern houses. I do like them. I just like, like the light and area. That's what I love about the design in them. Um, but. The Barlow, it's a, it is a really attractive looking house, isn't it? Um, 
And you'll often find this on many St Modwin developments because yeah. it is one of their portfolio house types. I mean, we do aim to bring you the, you know, a really substantial um, portfolio of house types from St Modwin. But Hilton Valley is a really nice development, isn't it? And as you can see from the drive through that, uh, that was on earlier in the video, um, they really care about how the streets look, etc. Um, anyway, all the details for this house will be in the description box down below so don't forget to check that out. All the measurements that I've given you as I'm walking around they'll also be in feet as well as meters if, if, yeah, yeah. if that interests you yeah. um, and there'll also be some additional information about this area and what's going on around. And if you here. want to know any more uh, um, pop along and see the um, St Modwin Homes website that would be quite a good and stop. The also the link for that will be in the box down below as well but if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please give us a thumbs up and we will catch you on our next video, which incidentally will be one of the other show homes on this lovely development. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.